Kyle Henderson here at nmpreps.com. Artesia High School today. Um, campus stop number, what is it, number four, something like that. We're down here in the south. Right here with me is Trevor Whitmire um, of Artesia High School. He's a safety, actually just committed to UNM baseball-wise. But um, let's talk about two-a-days. How are two-a-days going for you guys? It seems like there's a lot of intensity out here. Uh, it's going great. We started off the first day with a lot of intensity. And then on the third day, we did really uh, good. Offense kind of got onto defense a little bit. but. Other than that, I think we still have a lot of intensity and we're going to be uh, good going into the season. This year, Artesia loses basically everyone on the defensive side as well as the offensive side, but Whitmire returns along with a couple other players. Um, talk about some players that you see emerging this year as senior impact players. Um, well, on defense, we have uh, basically a whole new team, but uh, two players that stand out to me is uh, one is Braden Morgan. He's uh, the Sam linebacker, which is a strong side linebacker, and then uh, CJ uh, Romero, he's going to be our Mike linebacker. and They're pretty small guys, but I think they can do a lot. You're going into your senior year. Um, what are some goals and, and what are some team goals? Um, you know, besides the state championship, obviously, what are some team goals and what do you guys have to do to, to defend your Class 4A state title? Um, just setting good examples for the younger guys. I mean, our whole, our whole offense is pretty much young kids, and uh, just setting good examples is going to do a lot for us. Talk about the cohesiveness and just the camaraderie that you guys have. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of fellowship in the locker room. It seems like you guys all, you know, are, are brothers out here. Talk about that and, and talk about playing for Coach Henderson and, and kind of how that all ties together. I mean, uh, we're all good friends in the locker room and out. Uh, coach Henderson's a really great coach. Uh, he knows a lot. Uh, just, I don't know. <laughs> I just can't put it into words. He's a really great coach. Talking about the offensive side for the Artesia Bulldogs, I'm here with quarterback Skyler Morton. Um, Skyler, taking over for Josh Hotling this year. Um, give me your thoughts about you know taking over the Artesia Bulldog team. I mean, anytime a new quarterback comes in, it's a it's a new storyline. The quarterback, you know, is the, you know one of the biggest parts of this offense. Um, how are you feeling right now, going into 2011? I'm excited. It's a it's a big leadership role to take over quarterback here, and I think we're gonna have a good year and. As quarterback of the offense, I, I think uh, midseason we're going to be tough. Talk about some players that you know you see emerging as impact players. You guys lose Kobe Caton, you guys lose Andy Lopez, Chance Allen. I mean, the list kind of goes on and on. Talk about some players that you see emerging this season on the offensive side of the football. Um, we have Zeke Montoya as our running back, and he's a uh, he's pretty built. And we have sophomore Zane Pittum as our two back him and Gary Vaughn they're improving a lot and kind of our go-to guys are is Weston Leonard he's got good hands and at wide out we have Kaz Foster he's uh he's really improved he didn't play last year but he's got some of the best hands on the team the offensive line I believe uh, Alex played a little bit um but other than that, I mean, pretty much a whole new offensive line. Talk about some of those big boys and um, what you see out of them, um, you know, since two days. Um, actually, our offensive line is probably our strong point on offense. Uh, everybody, everybody on the old line has had experience from last year. Dustin Dolan's back. He uh, broke his tibula or something like that the second game, and he's back. And we have Seth Ashley and Mateo DePorto and Alex Donaghy. That's our, that's our big blindside guy. It's just a lot of leadership there. Talking about Artesia High School football, when you're down here, you really get a sense of the fellowship, the camaraderie that these that these teammates have for each other. If you could just talk about, um, you know, how everything kind of gels together and how everybody pulls together from, from the pursuit drill to finishing strong to, you know, the sing-off before practice. Talk about some of this stuff and, and how it kind of ties into Artesia football. Well, there's a big emphasis, em emphasis on encouragement here and picking each other up and over there at Pursuit Drills, you see us like it's the only conditioning we get and we really pick up our team over there and inside we have competitions on our fight song and just like to have a lot of fun with, a, with football and not take it so seriously. Being an Artesia Bulldog, overall, what does it mean to you? Have you? Is this something that you've looked forward to since you're a little kid? Being, you know, Bulldog your senior year, I mean, just talk about that and, and um, you know, what is it like to be a Bulldog? Oh man, obviously living here in Artesia, it's something you like grow up waiting to waiting to do, getting to play on the play on the bowl, and um, I'm excited. It's, it's gonna be fun.
This is Kyle Henderson of nmpreps.rivals.com reporting from the Bulldog Bowl. Artesia, last year going 10-4, and four, closing out in the 2010 state title game. Definitely loaded. A lot of intensity out here today in Artesia, New Mexico, under the sweltering heat. We'll catch up with you tomorrow in Hobbs, and we still got Lovington on your way. So stick with nmpreps.rivals.com as we close out our southern New Mexico prep football tour.